Hi there, YouTube. Uh, this is Dominic, the CX guy, Dominic, the Zendesk guy. Welcome to another episode. Today's topic is going to be, can Zendesk receive webhooks? Well, of course it can. Before we begin, please um, subscribe to this channel. Please like this video and comment if you want to see some special content. A bonus in the description of this video, you will see eight tips on how to optimize your Zendesk, an ebook. And yeah, let's begin. Um, for those of you who have, who have not visited my channel, so I am a Zendesk consultant with over eight years of experience. I have been a Zendesk partner for the past two years. I've also worked at Zendesk, and I'm here to share some of that knowledge with you. Uh, can Zendesk receive webhooks? Yes, it can. So short intro about what are webhooks. It's um, webhooks send HTTP requests to specific URLs in response to an event. So, or in this case in Zendesk, either a trigger or an automation that fires in Zendesk support. Developers, developers typically use webhooks to invoke behavior behaviors in another system. So this is why, this is how maybe you are familiar with webhooks by using them to ping other systems. And some examples of that are, for example, you can create a Slack, um, you can create a Slack notification if an urgent ticket ends up in your system. You can send some information in your Asana if, yeah, for a specific ticket that needs attention. Um, you can notify your own backend, for example, about an important ticket event. So this is how you can use webhooks from Zendesk, but you can use them to also um, come back to Zendesk. So imagine, for example, that if you send a webhook to your backend and say, dear backend, would you mind giving me all the information you know about a specific user? And you give, for example, the email address of that user, the backend is going to say, yes, I know about this user. I have their profile name. I have their photo. I have their uh, billing history. I have their purchase history. I have everything you need. Here's a ping back for you. That's a webhook, okay? So a webhook to send a request and say, hey, how are you? Do you have anything about this user? And then another webhook that says, yes, I do. Here it is. Here's the information you needed, okay? So Zendesk webhooks can be used from Zendesk and also to Zendesk, okay? So they can uh, fire both ways. You can use them from Zendesk and to point back at Zendesk. Obviously, um, you would have to have some level of authentication, right? You can't just uh, randomly have uh, pings coming over to your Zendesk because otherwise you'd just be hacked and uh, people would just uh, overuse your, uh, your API. So there's an API in Zendesk, it's beautifully documented. I recommend that you, um, that you have a look. It's, um, yeah, it's also linked in the description so you'll be able to see more. So in essence, I'm going to walk you through in just a second on what you can do with it. But in order to connect to the API, you definitely have to have some level of authorization. So in Zendesk, you have basic authorization and then you have OAuth authorization, okay? So this, these work with uh, passwords or they work with a token. And if you create this token and you authenticate with the API, then you can just use it to yeah, perform different actions with webhooks, okay? So let me share my screen and I'll show you the Zendesk API and webhooks can do anything you want, right? So you can create a ticket, you can modify ticket properties or update it. You can create a help center article, you can, um, create a user, you can update a user, you can do whatever you want, except cook you dinner, no dinner, okay? No dinner, that, that's not possible. Everything else, yes. Everything to do with support, very much available, very much doable. I am not a developer myself, but I have a team of developers that I work with, and uh, there's actually, how many are we now? Do, 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 do five people. So five developers, depending on yeah requirements, each one has their own unique skill levels and skill sets. So uh, here we go. So this is the Zendesk API. So developer.zendesk.com API reference. It's, this is for tickets, for example. 
you can get, you can put, right? So get, just get information, read it, and you can use put as well to, to create information. So for example, get API, and this is the version two of the API, and then for tickets, uh, tickets in an organization, tickets for users, tickets for, yeah, uh, anything you want, it's in here, attachments and uh, everything else. So let's see, ticket comments as well. Um, yeah, this is what, um, what an example looks like. Uh, let's see, ticket forms. Yeah, there's so much stuff in here and so elegantly and beautifully documented. So you can use it. Here's another example. Look how sexy this looks. All right, so. Amazing, I am blown away by this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so look, uh, this is how you list ticket forms, for example. Uh, you also get put, as I said, right? Not just get. This is more technical. I know that it's not necessarily like the most uh, easy, accessible thing, but if you are a developer, you'll know what this is about. If you're not a developer, you can reach out and I can help you with some development help, with some development work. Anyways, so this is the API for the tickets. Look at all these actions. That, look at all these things that you can do. Ticket fields. You can create ticket fields. You can see ticket fields. You can yeah, create requests, ticket imports, ticket audits, metrics, whatever you want. For users, users, user identities, user fields, end users, user password, organizations, same thing. And then, yeah, a whole bunch of other things. So business rules, groups, and then, yeah, SLAs. Account configuration, so ticket management. Oh my God, this is a, oh, does this ever end? <laughs> anyway, this is, yeah, this is quite amazing actually how many things you have available in here. Um, yeah, so use it, um, authenticate against it and use it to your advantage. Send webhooks to your, to your Zendesk and update the, the system and integrate with all the systems you want in the world. This is 2022. And this is the time where you, yeah, you have to make everything come together and you can do that with Zendesk API and with the help of webhooks, of course. All right, so this is the video about that. I hope this was helpful. I will create a video on how to integrate with your backend and I will share how uh, backend integration looks like a custom backend integration looks like in a video. I have a demo for you and yeah, hopefully you'll like that too. So I'll see you soon. Bye.